We need to fundamentally you know, break out of our, our, our heritage and, uh, and change what it means to be human to the point where we have more freedom, more uh, capabilities, and keep expanding uh, uh, human consciousness and understanding of the universe. Transhumanism, which is all about fundamentally uh, changing the human condition. Emil Grofstra is a pioneer of the body hacking scene, a niche group of biohackers that believe augmenting our bodies with implants is the future of human evolution. One of the first adopters of implantable RFID chips in the mid-2000s, Emil started Dangerous Things in 2013, a biohacking business he runs out of his home garage to bring this technology to the masses. After years of selling RFID implants, Emil's using this revenue from Dangerous Things to develop new implantable technologies that go beyond RFID. One of these is the Yuki, a yet-to-be-released prototype that he hopes will change the way society deals with information security by allowing people to carry cryptographic keys within their bodies. This is a full Java card cryptographic platform. It's all contactless. Emil's hoping that implantable tech will change the way we deal with issues of privacy and security. In the most layman's way possible, what is the Yuki? Essentially, it's a very small, security-oriented computer. The Yuki is a Java card, contactless NFC platform implanted in the body. This allows users to carry cryptographic keys within their bodies, as opposed to on external internet-connected devices, merging a person's digital and physical identity. Unlike other implants, Yuki allows for developers to create applications for the platform, things like secure payment and encryption. With Yuki, you can actually sign your messages. You can actually cryptographically prove, yes, this was me who did this thing. But I think probably the killer app for something like Yuki is going to be payments and transit. And so when you think about you know, the ability to get rid of your keys and get rid of your wallet, now you're talking about something that the average person can get behind. The bottom line is, for, for Dangerous Things, the kind of the mission statement is we believe that biohacking is the next form or phase of human evolution. And my belief is that a really well-designed technology that's implanted, it has no management, it just kind of disappears. You're standing there now and your kidneys are working hard, but you're not even thinking about it. Your heart is pumping, you're not even conscious of it. These technologies are exactly like that. They're just there, they do their jobs, they do them well, and I don't really think about it to the point that they've, they've just become part of me and who I am.